Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be jumping into DaVinci Resolve 17 and taking a look at the new speed tools that they have inbuilt into their new version of DaVinci Resolve. Now these aren't drastic improvements to the whole system, but definitely some ease of use tools that they have built in to make speed ramping and all those sorts of things, freeze framing and reversing clips that much easier. So let's jump in and take a look. All right guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna drag our footage down onto the timeline. It's just a pretty standard shot, just going through like a market somewhere in Asia. And we're going to delete the audio just so you guys don't have to worry about listening to that. In DaVinci Resolve 16 and versions in the past, if you wanted to speed this footage up or slow it down or even create a freeze frame, you would need to right click on the footage and go retime controls, change clip speed, all that sort of stuff. It's all gonna come up. When you do it, you can change the speed to whatever percentage you want. You can go backwards, rewind it. You can do your freeze frame and all that sort of stuff. Now in DaVinci Resolve 17, that whole process has been streamlined. So let's get out of that. So Command R to get out of that. Accidentally Control Z and got my audio back. So now let's say you've got your shot and then you all of a sudden you want it to speed up. So we can cut that there. We'll speed up to there. And we want this middle clip to be sped up and the two at either end to be normal speed. So you're gonna select the clip you want go into your inspector and scroll down until you see speed change. Now it may be hidden. You just click on it to open it up. And here we have some new options to control the speed of the footage. The first bit is the direction. So do you want it to speed forwards or do you want it to go in reverse? Hit reverse and you see that clip now flips and we have it going backwards pretty quick. We also have freeze frame. So if we hit freeze frame, it's going to freeze the section that we are on. So if we are on this bit here, it'll freeze this section and make the rest of that clip that frozen frame. So pretty simple there. You just go forward, bloody go, it got your freeze frame, nice and easy. You can take that up, do whatever you want to do with that. And then obviously we have our direction forward and our speed controls here. So the speed percentage, just like before, is gonna be how fast it is. So 200% will be double as fast. 300% three times, etc., etc., etc. So if we do that, not only is it going to dynamically change how long that clip goes for, so it's gonna tell us that that clip is now six seconds long as opposed to 19 seconds long. We can keep going, keep going, keep going. You can tell us, we can see how many frames a second it will be playing at, and we get a nice little quick little clip there. And then obviously we can bring this in here so that it follows in with each other. But as you notice, when I changed that, it didn't move this clip forward. It just changed the length of that clip as to the speed that we were making it. If you want to change the rest of the timeline to match it, which is generally what I do, you just go ripple sequence. And what that's going to do is basically as this comes in, because it's becoming shorter, this one will match it. So if we change that to want, maybe we want to make a thousand percent faster, you can see the rest of the footage moves into match. And now we have our clip and then it goes forward into a little freeze frame. We have our little start and then it speeds up and then goes back to the start. And so those are the new speed controls in DaVinci Resolve 17. I mean, you're not gonna be able to do speed ramping from this section, but if you wanna speed up a time-lapse or something like that in your footage, you got some really quick tools inbuilt into the inspector that you can access. That being said, speed ramping is still done the exact same way. So you'd want to re-click on the, right click on the footage, go read time controls, and you would want to pick your points. You want to start and you go add speed point, add speed point, and then you can change the speed in the middle to 800%. Now we've got a little bit of our ramp and we'll just affect the graph. So we go to our retime curve. And for some reason it's always set to retime frame, click retime speed, uncheck frame and then we have our graph here and we can just make it a nice smooth ramp all done and that would be exactly how you create it in DaVinci Resolve 16 so that hasn't changed there. So there you go guys that's all the new speed tools included in DaVinci Resolve 17. As you can see some are new some aren't and I think it's just going to make things a little bit easier which is always two thumbs up in my book. If you thought this if you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel because we do put out at least two videos a week, generally, depending on how busy I am. And yeah, make sure you like this video and until the next one, see ya.